All right, so this is, you might guess, a cherry. So this is a cherry fruit, and this is one of, this is, a, of course, a fleshy fruit. This one comes from a single ovary, so it's a simple fruit. It's a simple, fleshy fruit. And botanically speaking, you might think, maybe this is some kind of a berry, it's kind of small. No. This is a type of fruit called a droop. So right here, I've got one cut in half. So in the center, I've got this hard thing. Now, that could have been a berry if that were just a seed. However, it's not. Now it contains the seed, but it itself is not just the seed. So this is what we call the endocarp. So this is just this, this is just this thing cleaned up. So this is the cherry, this is the endocarp, and then on the inside, when you crack one of these open, this little thing inside of it, this is actually the seed. I'd say, well, isn't that the seed coat? It's actually got a little bit of a papery substance on the outside. That's the true seed coat. This is the hard endocarp that's like a stone. So another name for a droop, which is what this is, Another name for a droop is a stone fruit. So that gets used pretty commonly. Um, fruits that are the same as this are things like um, peaches, nectarines, um, also actually almonds are actually um, technically droops. It's just the flesh part is not what you eat. You actually eat the seed in the case of the um, almond, but in the case of most droops, especially members of the rose family, these are actually toxic, so you don't want to eat these. So if you've ever eaten cherries, you just eat them and then you spit out the pits, and that's actually the whole endocarp that you're spitting out. And if you break it open, that's actually the seed on the inside, and this is the stony endocarp that I broke off of it. That's what's over here. So that's what makes this a droop and not um, a berry. So a droop not berry. So full fruit. What kind of ovary is this? This is a superior ovary because if we look back here you kind of see, see there's some kind of brown stuff around the base of that. That's probably where um, the sepals and the petals and the stamens were all attached. So this would have been a superior ovary and this would have, this little bump right there that's where the style would have been, that little circular bump right there. So the stigma and the style would have been attached there. And then this, basically the ovule would have been inside of this, so this would have been um, basal placentation for this particular plant. So this is just an ordinary cherry, but we can look at it and know a lot about um, the tree that it came from just by looking at the fruit. And this right here would have been the peduncle for the flower. That's actually a little piece of the tree that it came from.